let us go on to the next problem. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1 minus 1, 5, 4, 3, 1. Okay, right? The pattern commences here. Correct? 1 minus 1 is 0. Correct? The difference is 1, therefore this is 9. The difference is 1, therefore it's 8. Difference is 1, it's 8. 6 minus 1 is 5 minus 1 is 4. This is another way of looking at the process in terms of differences. What happens when you start looking at differences is that, that you need to kind of start recognizing the patterns. 8 minus 6 is 2. Instead of saying, I have 8, I'm taking away 6. You look at 8 minus 6 as one single unit and say, the difference is 2. Right? So if you start thinking in terms of differences, you would see that your, what it takes to get to the answer, right, will be much shorter than before. Okay, so that's exactly what we mean by identifying patterns. In every class of problems in math that you solve, you come across this situation where there are some patterns and designs that actually keep popping out and staring at you. And it's for you to actually make a call whether to recognize and internalize those patterns or stick to the old methods of solving problems. In either case, the answer is you will come to the right answer but things will become a tad faster if you keep internalizing NOAA patterns. And that's, that, that's the idea behind this example. So in order to demonstrate this, let's actually solve one more problem. <coughs> 6, 6, 2, 2, 0. Minus. 49120. 49120. Right? 0, 0, 1. Difference is 3. Difference is 2. And the answer is 17100. Zero, zero. Okay? 